And this could be a whole fresh new start for you. It could be a real, if you embrace it, it could be amazing. Scorpio, how are you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the 5th through to the 11th of December. Thank you very much for being here. Let's just jump straight into your reading. Uh, let's see what's going on in the overall energies for you. Don't give up is the message that comes in. It's like, uh, you know, around here we've got mountains, you climb up the mountains and you, you come and you see a peak that's just in front of you, you kind of go, oh, just one more peak and I'm there. And then you get to that peak and then there's another peak. And it's it. you may get that sensation at the moment that you've always got to keep picking yourself up and etc. But I wouldn't give up. It's certainly, don't give up. It's, you're going to make it. You're going to make it. Um, yeah, you have that strength within you. You have that ultimate goal of security uh, built upon sort of family, knowledge, understanding, expertise in your workplace, um, security in your emotional sort of state as well. And just being uh, warm and at home, basically. That's what you want. And if that's what you want, don't give up because that's what you're going to get. Let's just see what's going on in your relationship side. Here's your karmic message. It's the same message that's coming in from last week. It's a lot more about opening up and, uh, you know, um, taking a leap of faith, throwing caution to the wind in a way. Um, yeah, throwing caution to the wind. That's what it sort of seems like. Are you procrastinating? Are you scared about going forward? Um, are, you, are you scared about exposing yourself? Or, you know, not that sort of like, you know, that way, but I mean, exposing your emotions and stuff like that. Because um, if you are, I think you're going to be doing yourself wrong. I think you're going to miss the boat if you do do that. Uh, so I wouldn't. I would uh, get out there and start, um, you know, allowing yourself to live. Nothing is perfect in the world. So don't try and make it. Make it perfect. Let's just see how the universe is trying to guide this um, karmic message. The world's a better place when you're in a better place, basically. Uh, that's what it sort of seems like. Um, and the universe is trying to encourage that. You know, it may have been difficult times in the past, and this is where you, you might have been trying stuff, and it just sort of like, it gets to a certain level and doesn't go forward, gets to a certain level and doesn't go forward. That's where the don't give up, because it is happiness. This is what the universe is trying to encourage, or the, the energy that's flowing through you on the relationship side. He's trying to encourage that happiness after difficulty. And if you've had a difficult relationship going on, um, then, uh, you know, it, it's that's that's in the past in a way, I think. And I think it's got to, you got to look to the future and look to your happiness to the future. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this. They're opening a lot of doors here connecting a lot of with a lot of people around you um so it could be very you might have the opportunities to um almost be very sociable in a way um yeah they're trying to sort of like make you realize that you can um you can be happy you uh it's not that you're not happy but that you're losing a little bit of the faith in life as it were uh because your boat has your boat hasn't come in as it were, and it's waiting too long. It's you just got to go ahead and you just got to go ahead and do it. But the the coincidences that they're doing here uh, in socialising, sort of trying to connect you with the people that are around you, which is then going to open doors for you in regards to relationships. Let's just see um, what's going on. Um, but you need to open these doors as well. You need to open your emotions. Uh, you know, if people are going to hurt you, they're going to try and hurt you. But you can you'll recognize these people and then you can just walk away from them. It's very simple. Uh, let's just see how the uh, guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. Wait and see. Uh, see, 
Well, you know, I, I can understand that. I can understand that for a, in one respect. But I think if, you, if you're waiting too long, you're going to miss out on opportunities. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't encourage that within you. I would encourage it of, of you being able to, okay, it may be a case of giving, you know, giving wisely to the people around you who actually, you know, that, that actually um, means something for you, that actually um, that, that you connect with in a really nice way. And that's where you can sort of like, you can provide a lot of sort of um, pleasures for other people that are around you. But you've got to come out your shell a little bit by the looks of it. And if you do, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to be really nice. I think you're going to find a very harmonious sort of state um, and a new way of being within your relationships. Let's just see um, what's going on on the work front. Here we got the uh, karmic message here. As one door closes, another door opens. I think this is that optimism thing as well. Um, it's getting into a rhythm that you can move from one thing to another with ease if you so choose to. But you've got to stay within that rhythm. Um, it, it, within your work, it might be a difficult within your job at the moment or within your business or your project. Um, but... You know, as one aspect of that job business project closes down, another job opens. But you've got to be in the flow. You've got to be optimistic. You've got to be um, uh, going going out there and getting it in a way. Let's just see. Um, let's just see how the universe is trying to sort of guide you here. It's coming in quickly. There's a there's. There's a that one door closes, another door opens. It's coming in quickly. Yeah, I think this is playing. Yeah, okay, so it's playing smart as it as it's recognizing when a door is closing. So then, therefore, you don't get caught in that door. Um, and when you recognize it, that means you can change your trajectory. You can change what you want to do as job projects and business. Change how you invest your money. Um, so then, therefore, you don't get caught in a bad sort of situation. But you've got to be on the ball. You've got to be. You've got to be present at the moment. Um, and you know, it's the universe is here is trying to give you that heads up on that on those things that are shutting down in order for you to start concentrating on other things. It's going to make you feel invigorated, a new person. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. Well, uh, they're trying to avoid, there's a bit of a call to omission. So these two here are playing really into it. I think this is like, it's almost like a tower moment. There is a definite choice to be made here in this situation. There's a lot of swords. There's a lot of thinking going on from your side, I think. Uh, you're calculating a lot and this could be um, causing you a little bit of stress and strain. Uh, but I think the guides here are purposely trying to shut down doors and open others for you. Um, yeah, the, it's that intuition, that mental sort of side. If you can realise the things that are not working for you, therefore you can concentrate on the things that are going to work for you. And this could be a whole fresh new start for you. It could be a real... If you embrace it, it could be amazing. It certainly looks it when I quickly have a look at what's on the outcome... Let's just see how the guys are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. There's a lot of protection going on there. There's a lot of, okay, do you see that? How much is that costing? How much is you, do you want to do in the future? What can you invest in? What is going to be uh, the outgoings, the costs and stuff like that? Can you move house? There's a lot of questioning going on. It's all about you. Uh, so it's with inside you. It's looking for the for the security, um, looking to be um, be in a place where you can you can feel at ease with yourself. 
I would be, yeah, just, I would lift your head up a little bit, you know, obviously everyone's got their, everyone's got stuff to deal with. Um, and if you, if you are dealing with the moment with difficulties in your life, if you're carrying too much of it, if you're carrying too much mental stuff, if you're not getting out of your head and, and lifting your head up and seeing the possibilities that are around you, it might, you might feel yourself a little bit, um, submerged or uh you know overloaded with life at the moment and uh it's looking for that security going forward let's just see what the outcome is there's a change of direction there's a new cycle that's coming in for you it's been a long time coming and it doesn't seem to have turned up really since your birthday period there's been a lot of stop starts but this seems to be the the one that's in that's uh in you know uh that's um that's that's connected that's actually starting to put into place that's engaged in your future and it's going to make you feel a lot more secure about your future by the looks of things um as you go forward i think it's money that's going to be the tying the one that the the one thing that's going to be the um the 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 thing that that changes the balance within you and makes you feel secure. There's um, something that's tied into um, tied into finances. That there's this. It's like you're waiting to sell something, and once it's sold, it's done. It's going to make you feel uh, a lot happier about progressing, about going on in your future. Okay, and I think you've you've done the work in the past. Looking at your readings over the last year, you should be feeling a lot more secure going forward for your future um so there you go uh scorpio um there's loads of links in the description below thank you very much for your support for this channel don't forget life should be uh fun so please do enjoy <laughs>